Hi, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So on the previous episode, uh, we had configured our DCS920 uh, network camera so that we could uh, view it uh, locally and remotely. But what we want to do is we want to make it easier to get to that, because the way we had it set up uh, last time, you would have to know what the public IP address of your router is so that you could connect to your camera. Well, there's an easier method of connecting to the camera that uh, you can use a web URL, just like you would go to dlink.com or, or something like that. You could uh, use what's called dynamic DNS. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create an account at www.dlinkddns.com. So let's go ahead and create an account and get our, uh, our URL going. Start by pointing your browser to dlinkddns.com and click the Start button. Just create a username and a password and then enter in your email address. This will create an account which will allow you to create your own host name or URL for connecting to your camera. Don't forget to accept the user policy and then create the account. Now you'll be sent an email that you will have to confirm your account. Just click on the link and that'll take you back to dlinkddns.com. Once your account is confirmed, just log in using that same username and password. Once you're logged in, you'll see that you don't have any host names already. So you just need to click the Add Host link below that. Now, give your host name something that you'll remember. I'm using D-Link DIY. And then just repeat the same IP address into the field that you see right above it. This is going to confirm your IP address with the service. Once you've clicked Save, now you have your very own host name. So now that we've created a host name that we can use to connect to our cameras, well, what do we do with that information? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to input that information into your router. So all you have to do is log into your router and then input this information. So let's see how that's done on a DIR655 Extreme N router. Adding dynamic DNS is pretty simple. Just click on the Tools tab at the top and then select Dynamic DNS from the left-hand side. Now just click the Enable box and then select D-Link DDNS. Click the little left arrow so that it enables it. And then enter in the host name that you just created. That's going to be the full host name with the dot dlinkddns.com after it. Then just enter in the same username and password that you created when you created the account at dlinkddns.com. Once you have this done, just click Save Settings and that's all there is to it. Well, now we have our host name and the dynamic DNS has been configured on our DIR655. So what do we do to connect to the camera? Well, if you go to an outside uh, place uh, over to your neighbor's house and you were to enter in your host name and then a colon followed by the 81, you'll remember that's the port that we opened for the cam camera specifically from the last episode. The reason why it's 81 and not 80 is because we're going to keep going down the line with the more cameras you have. So you can put one at 82, 83. So let's see how that looks on the screen and then you'll be able to do it on your own. Now to connect to your camera all you need to do is open up your web browser and then type in the host name 
plus the dlink ddns.com into your browser plus the colon 81. Now if you type in the username and password for your camera, you'll be connected to it. So that's all there is for setting up your camera, mounting it, and getting it so that all you have to do is enter in the same URL every time and you'll be able to connect to your camera. You could also give that to you know relatives if you were, say, going to set it up uh, to look at your backyard or your, your child or something like that. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.